this building uh, is for is uh, we call it reconciliation house uh, this is an alarm project we are putting up here a facility for training uh, for for facilitators you know here in this village we have been having a problem of a communication of, of accommodation uh, uh, people coming from outside they have nowhere to uh, uh, to, uh, to be accommodated so we want to put this this facility so that those who come and do training here can have a comfortable place that they can be able to uh, to, to stay in and facilitate the training we also hope in the future we are able to put up dormitories for the the participants who will be coming to this center so this is an alarm uh, project and this is alarm uh, alarm place this is the alarm compound it has been given uh, to us by the government of southern sudan these are we are trying to do them self contained rooms for sleeping uh, we have about 11 rooms that people will be able to sleep in uh, in these rooms we when we are having a training alarm training here uh, during those uh, those time when we have training the facilitators will be able to use this uh, these rooms and when we don't have training we can hire it to other people who are uh, trying to do workshops or training okay. they can be able to hire it uh, and then they do their training here also uh, the construction began in February this year we are hoping maybe the roof will be put on uh, this time and then the next uh, uh, the, the Kenyan builders will go back and then come back in September. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, we are imagining we, by October we should complete this building. Uh, this we are inside, right inside in a room in, uh, in the reconciliation house. This is one of the rooms. So we are uh, this is um, uh, this is a toilet and then bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then we will be able to put uh, like two beds here in this room or one bed uh, according to our needs. So we are inside uh, the one of the bedrooms. Uh, in this side we have about five and on the other side we have six. Uh, the, uh, uh, the bricks were made here locally. We mobilized people and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and request them to make the bricks locally here. And then other materials uh, like iron sheets, like uh, cement, like uh, uh, like uh, nails, they were all brought from uh, from Kenya. Alarm uh, shattered trucks to from Kenya to bring the materials here. But other things like bricks and timbers, we are able to make them here locally. What the community did. Uh, um, alarm uh, because of uh, alarm of what alarm is doing here the community was very happy and they were able to contribute some of the things one of the things they contribute free of charge is land they give a lamb land free of charge uh, they give us timbers uh, they allow us to go to the forest so that we can cut timbers for these projects here free of charge and then they they were able to help us uh, for bricks uh, especially what they have given us on these bricks is uh, they give us some food to give to the people who are making the bricks. So that is the local effort that was uh, contributed to, this, uh, to these buildings. Uh, both the, uh, the, the Reconciliation House and the Linda School and Hope Secondary School. Uh, we are now right at the dining hall. That is a place that we want to construct and what will be used, uh, the use of this one, that is a place where people will, ha will have meals. So right there is, um, uh, that will be a kitchen and then uh, we have a small store in that place. And then uh, we, we plan to put uh, an outer place where people can be able to sit. So basically that is a, a dining room uh, for the guest house. How many people will be able to be accommodated at that dining hall? Um, 
around uh, around uh, 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 something to do with 60 people. 60 people. The headquarters of the county has been put there, and a surveyor is being waited, and the road will pass will pass there behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will, that that is where the, the road will be. Uh, they they can come and have meals here. They can be able to accommodate, sleep here. Then they go on to the journey. They pay something. Uh, this construction uh, uh, begins in February, and uh, we are planning to make it complete in uh, uh, completely in October. That is our that is our target. This is a hexagon, and in pursuit of uh, of the peace that we the people of Sudan are enjoying, I I came up with that shape as a sign of unity, oneness and complete wholeness, so that we can be able to accommodate the different different types, different uh, clans, even the ones that were previously been fighting amongst themselves can be accommodated here as they pass by. Uh, by the way, we are, we are right at the end of, of this state. We border the next state on the upper Nile, and as the feasibilities are, are indicating, this would be a highway. So it would, it would also serve as an inn for, for travelers and everybody else. The history of this, uh, of, of this, uh, of this place, uh, formerly uh, it was really a place where the Dinkas and Nuer, uh, the Nuer are not very far from from where you stand is something to do with 50 kilometers away from here and this is the place where they could uh, meet and then fight and uh, there has been a lot of blood that shed in this area so uh, we intentionally uh, name it as a reconciliation house so that uh, we are seeing in the future all types of people where the Dinkas they will be able to sit together they sleep together, they stay together here. Uh, a place once, that uh, a place of fighting, it is now turned as a ground for reconciliation. And we see uh, this uh, facility will, uh, will help uh, to be focusing on, on, uh, on that. Yeah, this, uh, this building is, uh, is uh, a lamp center for training. Uh, we, do, we do training here. There are two large classrooms. Uh, 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 that one is the lecture room. Then there is another one here. And for time being, we are using one as a store. When we have a store, we will take the things there and we'll be able to use both. We are using one now and uh, the other one, they are for the for training. Those who come here to be trained are pastors, uh, evangelists, who come uh, from, different, uh, from dif different places. They are trained and they go back to their churches and help their churches. And also we have uh, teachers training. Teachers come here for, uh, who are teaching in, uh, in this area, they are trained and they are able to go back uh, to their schools. The training we, we do here, uh, um, uh, myself and other colleagues, uh, other people have been hired by alum uh, who have done theological training. We do training here, there is a local training and that is international training, whereby we invite people from states uh, who are having partnership with the LAM or UK. They come and, and be here for a week or two weeks, then they go back. Then we, the locals here, we continue with those uh, with those uh, with those trainings. Yeah. So it is it is all it is outside and inside. So we are using this facility all of us. Previously, we we don't have a place to accommodate. And in years back, we have been put, we have been uh, accommodating our guests at Waterlee Place, and they have to be transported every day, and uh, that there is that interruption. So we we want them to be in our place. We interact with them; uh, they sleep here. So the, we uh, we intend our international uh, facilitators and uh, and the facilitators in Sudan here they can be able to use the reconciliation hours when they are doing training. Yeah. Uh, these are uh, iron sheets for for roofing. These were sourced from from Kenya alarm hard trucks from Kenya to bring these building materials here. 
and uh, they are iron sheets. That is cement. Is a cement that was also sourced from Kenya. Uh, a, a lamb brought it for building here because mm. uh, you cannot find it locally here. It was very expensive to bring it. Yeah, very expensive, yes. Mm. These are chairs uh, that was also, they are for training. When we have training, we take them there so that people have a place to sit and able to listen to lectures. So these are shares, they were also brought from Kenya uh, by alarm. This is the power saw that is used for cutting timbers. We, we hire a Kenyan, a Kenyan expert with this, and then we buy these machines and then he was able to make timbers through this machine. Alarm bought it, and then he was hired to come in, uh, in the forest, mm -hmm. then he cut the timbers that we are using now. Yeah, on my side, on my left hand side, the white stuff, as you can see, the, the water closets for the toilets. Yes. Since we need to, for the guest house, since we need to have them waterborne and give them hygienic standards. And we also have washing basins below, behind here, mm -hmm. so that we can be able to have something that is, uh, is up standard. Yeah, and something, we are looking, uh, we are focusing ahead, maybe 15, 20 years later, sure. that we, did, we don't need to come to upgrade our, our facilities again. Timber for construction and, and firewood here is, is quite expensive. And when we came to develop this place, we realized, my observation was that we used a lot of timber in fuel wood to, to burn the, the, the clay, clay bricks for construction. And that we took so much from the ground, from, from the forests. Similarly, we have harvested so much timber, as we previously said, for building. And given the fact that there's no timber in Sudan, as a corporate responsibility, Alam decided to, to try a project of uh, doing afforestation, reafforestation here. And we came up with two species that we have seen that they are doing well in Kenya. We just want to try. If they, they work out here, then we can develop it further. This is called uh, Eucalyptus grandis is a seedling that has also been, it's exotic, it has been developed in South Africa, and it develops to maturity at the age of about 10 to 15 years. You can have uh, a trunk of about, main gut of about a meter. It's also, it's very good for fuel, uh, for, for timber. It is also, it also has medicinal value, like body ba balm and liniment. It's also developed for that. And this is a second species. It's called uh, Gravelia. Mm -hmm. It's a softwood. It's good for making furniture and, and those sorts, sort, sorts of things. So we thought if it works out, we'll be giving back to nature what, what God has given us. Uh, we are standing next to one of the, the first eucalyptus tree is seedlings that we developed here. And as you can see, the one down here is approximately three months old. And it has achieved about a, about a, a foot in terms of height. Okay. On my right, there's a, there's a gravelia, which is also three months old. And it's, a, it's about eight inches. So the growth is still is quite tremendous. Yeah, this building is for women is a women empowerment program project uh, the the women have uh, sewing machines they have uh, uh, they have oil press machined and they want to have a bushery so here you can be able to see the the three rooms they want to use one for uh, for sewing machines where women come and be trained uh, for skills they know how to mend clothes then another room will be used as bushery, and then another room will be used for oil press, oil pressing machine, which is already on site here. The oil is uh, uh, it is pressed from Simsim, and what they are intending, they they will produce enough so that they can take to the market, they can be able to sell and get some uh, some money that can support women programs. So it's uh, an, uh, an uh, it is a generating. Uh, generating uh, money generating project for them to support their program here.
Okay, this machine is called oil press machine for the Simpson. So we buy some Simpson seat and then when we got them we we put them inside this place here. We place them here. You measure a kilo, one kilo or uh, three kilos. This this one, two, three kilos. So when you press the, you put them inside there, you come and and press this one. You go up so that the the machine inside this place open this hole here. You got a place to open, you got a room for opening. Uh -huh. Then now the seat will enter inside there. Uh -huh. So when we, now it is time for clutching, you come, you come until you do this thing. Uh -huh. So when when you fully is down, then the oil come out at that side, and then the the seat, the remains come out of this side. Okay. And then after that, when you got the oil, you come and put it here for the filter is. So we put it there and then we have some some something here for, for filtering but we have already packed it there because now it's not we are not do, doing anything here. Yes. So you put it here and then the oil come out here mm -hmm. as filter and then it will be used for consumption. And this is now what is the this is the result yes. for the oil. Yeah. Then it is used for Consumption for food, yeah. To to uh, when you put it into food to make it or to cook to cook. You in. cook, you cook, you fry, you do everything with it, yeah, yeah. And, and it's sold in the market. Yeah, it is sold in the market. Yeah. yeah. Also, the the remains of the of the same thing is sold to 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 women also. They sometimes they grind it with this small machine here. Mix with grain, some grains, and then for the forage for the children, for the small children, this machine here lying down. Oh. It's called a hand grinding machine. Yeah. Okay. To grind grains, mix with some other things, then for porridge for the small children. Yeah. Yes, under this tree, this was one of the classrooms. Uh, for Linda school when the, uh, the classroom were not built so the children were learning here this is one of the classrooms now because the building is already there four classrooms have been put there children are not uh, learning here any longer they go to classrooms there so that that was the previous that was their classroom previously yes. but now the uh, it has been the, the classes are complete so they are learning there at, uh, uh, in uh, classrooms but now uh, that picture is uh, totally changed by alarm people have classrooms to be able to study then when there's rain no interruption and uh, uh, this community is heavy, is very happy uh, for uh, for what alarm have done uh, to change uh, did to change that situation yes uh, this is uh, linda school lina primary school uh, this is the, uh, a school that uh, came up during war and uh, children uh, were able to use it and uh, there were no enough classrooms. That block is only four classrooms and now they have reached the eighth grade. So um, Alam has helped to put this block, uh, another four classrooms. So there will be now about eight classrooms. Uh, the that one, the old one, and the new one. So this is the Linda Primary School. Uh, the the ages of children is from uh, from five up to up to uh, eighteen, twenty there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is the age that the people come to this school. When we have this uh, building uh, finish, it's something to five hundred uh, children are able to come to this school. They have they have already come. Now they are in holiday. So the it is normally it's full, yes. And uh, the unique thing of this school is that uh, in um, the number of girls and boys is equal in this school, uh, almost equal because, and this is unique because in southern Sudan there is no school that you can find where the number of girls and boys are equal. Uh, 
the number of boys is always uh, up. So we are proud of this school and this, uh, the, the community is very happy to see alarm of uh, put up these uh, buildings so that the children will not be rained on. Yes, uh, this building is uh, Hope High School. It's a secondary school that uh, Alam have tried to really to put up here in this, uh, in this, in Vietnam, so that the children who finish in primary school, they can be able to have a place uh, where they can be able to learn. So we call it Hope Secondary School. The secondary school that was built was built by an, uh, an Islamic uh, relief. Uh, organization that is uh, something to do some 70, kilo, 70 kilometers away from here and um, that is the school that uh, the children who finish in primary school they were able to go there but the community is, was not happy about them going there because they are fearing they can be indoctrinated in uh, that Islamic school they will learn uh, Quran and all this so we find it is uh, uh, we give them an alternative so that uh, there is a secondary school that they can be able to come uh, here and learn. So that, that, that was before. And now there are so many children uh, who have finished grade 8. They are waiting for this school to be opened so that they can have a place to learn. They already say we will not go uh, to, that, uh, to that Islamic school since we have a second school that is going to be opened. Uh, we have four classrooms and we will start with the first first. Uh, First year and the first year we intended to recruit about 50 students. Yes, and then move on like that. So one classroom will accommodate 50 students. Yes. So maybe uh, after they start and then they went up to four years, we can be able to have 200. That is 50-50, 50-50. Now it is in their home. They are near. They can be able to walk toward it. And... Uh, Actually, the girls, they were the ones who are at a, a, a disadvantage. They cannot be able to go to that, uh, uh, to that an Islamic school. They cannot be able to allow to go to a place like Ye, a place like Juba, uh, those far places. The culturally, girls cannot be allowed to go that far. So this is hope for them because they can be able to come and learn here. You learn and then you go back to your home where your father, your mother are able to see you. So it's, it's actually, this community is very much proud of this school and uh, they have great appreciation of this school. Uh, a week ago, government officials were able to come here to come and see and they really appreciate Alam, what Alam is doing. And they said, we are going to stand with you. That is their promise to me. So uh, actually, this create a great hope for this community. This is the only school that will really be able in the state, not in Goreal County, but uh, about uh, about 20 counties will be able to send their children here. Uh, this place is called Liet Malim. Uh, is a, is a, is a village by itself, and here we are standing at uh, a Denka uh, village uh, uh, homestead. Is is a Tukul people sleep here? And, um, and, 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 and and some people sleep there so the this is a home this is one is, is one of the people living around uh, these people are uh, fishermen they are coming just from the river you can see the fish they are taking it to Vietnam market so that they can sell them and have something so they are selling this fish here yes fishermen and one woman also they has uh, some fish they catch this fish today yeah, and these are the good things of the Ju River. Ju River is the river which is just around the, in Vietnam, and uh, this is the fish that did, that come out from from Ju River. Uh, here is uh, uh, is uh, part of Vietnam, Lim, and uh, this is a homestead of one of the people living around here. Uh, here is where people sleep. This is uh, one house, and uh, there, that is a house for guests. And then the animals, uh, like goats, they stay, they stay there. And uh, here are uh, sagom. They have grown sagom here. Uh, as you see, there also is um, 
is a is a shrines where people who uh, traditional way of uh, of life they love uh, the poor ancestors they, they they kill goats and and animals so this is one of the people home yes yeah home estate and these are the people that live here these are the people who are living here some are not there but these people they live in this uh, in this place that is their home yeah and some other people they are working in in the gardens they are uh, pruning so that the gardens have uh, can grow uh, so that the sagum can grow well so you can see a woman there yes yes yes, yes. Is the little red light blinking yeah yes yes james bach is taking this video he's a very good cameraman <laughs> he is my new student Uh, this is another home state uh, in a village called Warwing. Uh, is the Denka village, and uh, this is where this family sl uh, sleep. Uh, this is where cattle are. Cattle are uh, here. Then another uh, where people sleep, and then the guest uh, place. And uh, right, that woman in the house, in the in, in, in inside this uh, uh, this room. Is pounding uh, grains manually for for the family, so that is the life here, and uh, this is a homestead. Right now, they are taking water from uh, from in, uh, water from the rain or rain, rain source. Then, during when it is dry, they dig and they just uh, take the muddy water. Yeah, because Vietnam is far, they can't go there, so they just uh, survive here. So that is the life here, and that is where they can get water. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this, the whole of this village, they don't have a single clean water. They don't have water pump. Yes, where we are standing now, uh, this is a place. Uh, during uh, during during winter, uh, the village here come and uh, and dig this place, and that is where that is the source of water. Now it is not usable because the rain have uh, rain and it is collapsed. So they are taking water, as, as, uh, rain water, at any source there. It's not usable now. But during win winter they will come here. Okay. They will dig when the water is not around. They will dig and they be able to uh, get from this muddy water. Yes. Uh, I think that, Mama. Uh, this place is. Uh, uh, is a uh, is uh, a source of water when the rain water rained, the water comes here, and w the woman here, she was just taking water uh, because of that water, which they have just dug a small hole to drink here. So this is where this uh, village now they are drinking from this uh, stagnant water. They, they 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 dig down and they can be able to get water. So this is the source of their life now for water. And it's not clean. It has so many insects. It has uh, so many things there, and that is why they are able to get diseases and all this. So uh, that is how this village lives. They don't have a single palm. Yeah. Uh, now uh, this place is uh, is a well. Uh, that is a place. Is a hole where this village. Uh, during dry season, they are able to come here and cook their uh, water, and this is the water they drink. They just uh, put out the soil and then they, they drink. This is the source of water. For so this is muddy, is unclean, but uh, that is the only thing that they have in this village. So they come and they come and take water here during winter. How many people would come to this? How many villages would uh, rely on this for water? Do you have any idea? Yes, about uh, about five thousand, about five thousand people in uh, in uh, those uh, in uh, something like th uh, three villages. They can come here and and and, and, and take water here, uh, all over round. So, so that is the only salt that they have. Okay.